Hi folks and welcome to Tri Jake Cycling. My name is Jake Mullen, owner and operator of Tri Jake Fitness right here in Wellesley, Massachusetts. And the next 30 minutes is a show dedicated to you, the at-home indoor cyclist. We're going to take you through uh, a beginner class today and we're going to teach you some of the basic moves and we're going to teach you ways that you can have a, a wonderful uh, 20 to 25 minute ride at home uh, with the instruction of myself. We are actually going to ride, but before we get started, you're going to need three mandatory things and then a couple other uh, smaller things that might make your ride a little easier. The first thing you're going to need is a towel because we are going to be working hard today. You are going to get up a little bit of a sweat and uh, you want to be able to dab your face and keep your arms nice and dry. The second thing that you absolutely do need is going to be a water bottle or perhaps two. A lot of bikes, uh, at-home bikes, allow you to have two right up front. I do recommend that. This is a Blades Master Bike. It simulates outdoor riders uh, very well, so it has its water bottle down on the frame similar to an outdoor bike. And the third thing that is an absolute must is you must have an indoor cycling bike. So if you don't have one of these three things, I suggest you go get them so that you can get started burning calories straight away. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is actually fitting the bike. This is very, very important that you do uh, because a lot of times people will not get uh, the, the proper calorie output and or wattage output simply because their position is wrong. And so I'm going to briefly take you through that. Now, most bikes have three main ways to adjust and some bikes have four. Um, the fourth would be a handlebar adjustment out and back. So if you have a particular style of bike that allows you to do that, you're in good shape because this bike has four. If you only have three, that's okay. You simply don't have as, quite as a luxurious bike as perhaps others, as the hands on the handlebar is mainly a comfort level than anything else. What's most important, as you can imagine, is the seat height. So. A real good quick sort of general rule is if you stand upright next to the bike right here and you go ahead and you raise your knee to where that knee is parallel with your hip, there is a hip bone that pops out right here at the base. That hip bone should be right in line with the middle of the saddle. So you can see here it looks as though my hip bone is a little above that saddle. And it's important that you be honest about this. Don't hike your hip up. Some people do that. So just nice and normal neutral hip right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to raise this bike seat up. That feels like it might be about right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hip up and it looks like it's about dead center with that. Now that's the first adjustment you can make. The second adjustment that you can make is forward and back on the bike. That would be this this knob right here. You're going to want to loosen that up and you'll find the position of forward to back. You can see it slides back and forth uh, with considerable ease. So you might be wondering, how do I know how far or back my seat should be? Well, I'm going to hop up on here and we're going to show you. Your first move is to straddle the bike, put your hands on the handlebars, use those handlebars to help you get up into the saddle and have a seat on the bike. Now, if we can just take a look at my feet in the pedals, we're gonna get to pedaling here. What's important here is I want you to think of the, of the pedal stroke as a clock. If you look at my right foot, my right foot's at 12 o'clock. Now it's at three, now it's at six, and now it's at nine. So we're gonna bring it down to three. And my knee, should be hovering directly over the ball of my foot and or the pedal crank. So if my knee is over that mark, I'm able to put maximum force down through my leg to circle that pedal around. And if you are allowed to give maximum power to your pedal stroke, you are in fact going to be burning a lot of calories. Now, I really like where my bike seat is. I recommend that you figure out a spot that's good for you. The third and final adjustment that we need to make are the handlebar height. Now, as I said before, handlebars are pretty well 
uh, made for comfort. So if you like them to be a little more up, a little more up is fine with me. If you like to get down in this position, that's also fine with me. If you feel like you're more of a racer or you really like that hip angle, that's all right with me. Um, so just sort of play with it. I kind of like my handlebars up a little bit more on my indoor bike and a little bit down further on my outdoor bike. So that's it. We're ready to ride. Hopefully you got your bike set up okay. You got your towel. You got your water. And we're going to get to riding right now. All right, folks, so we should be all set on the bike. You're ready to roll, right? Right. Now, because this is a beginner's class, I just want to cover pedals quickly. Uh, because it is a beginner's class, I went ahead and I'm wearing my sneakers. Uh, there's three types of uh, ways that you can get your feet into a, into a pedal on an indoor cycling bike, one of which is by using the cages, which is what we're rocking right here. The cages on the underside of the cages, if you can see that, is actually a means to clip in uh, riding shoes. Uh, most commonly used are the SPD cleats. Just go down to your local sporting goods store and ask for SPD cleats. Uh, they're also known as uh, mountain bike shoes. You can go ahead and try those out. And there's also the look cleats on uh, a lot of outdoor cycling bikes uh, can also be clipped into to most of these apparatuses. But <clears throat> if you're like me today and you don't have your cycling shoes, you can go ahead and, and strap your your favorite pair of tennis shoes in there. They should uh, be a good firm bottom shoe, stiff bottom shoe, uh, something along those lines, something that's going to allow you to drive down through the pedal stroke. So uh, we are going to be down in this position for about the next 20 minutes. So the first thing I'd like to do is a little bit of a warm up. So I'm asking you to push back off your handlebars and stop pedaling just for a moment and just sort of roll your shoulders back. That's right. Keep your eyes forward. Roll your shoulders back just to get these uh, shoulders nice and loose. Very good. Then we're going to start to twist the body. Nice little twisting bits of the body. And then go ahead and reach across with your right arm. Look the opposite direction. And come back the other way. Left arm across the body. Look the opposite direction. Very good. We're going to now roll our shoulders forward. Roll our shoulders forward. Four, three, two, one. And let the neck fall down to the right and the arms hang back. Good posture. And back the other way to the left. Awesome. Great little neck roll back and forth, back and forth. And maybe come up out of the saddle just real quick. Nice big stretch. I call this the Lion King. Good. You want to get your hands back up on the top of the bar there. Maybe switch your feet out. And we're just kind of stretching the spine out a little bit. Chin up. Proud to be an athlete today. Very good. All right. Let's sit back down into the saddle here. Good. we got about 19 minutes of ride time. Now, it's important that you follow your feel, follow your heart, own your own ride throughout this entire procedure, okay? This is supposed to be fun, but it's not supposed to be easy. Fitness is fun. It's not necessarily easy. It's very rewarding. So let's get focused here, and I want you to feel as though you're riding on a nice, flat piece of ground. Pick those pedal cadence up, eyes forward, shoulder blades down and back, upper body nice and relaxed, lower body a tremendous machine. Good, so we're enjoying ourselves on this nice quiet country road, flat, the cornfields in Nebraska come to mind. And you just want to keep that pedal stroke nice and consistent, driving down through the front part of the pedal stroke, utilizing the entire pedal stroke as a means to generate power to move forward. Your eyes should be up, your shoulders should be down and back, your chest should be out, and you should be enjoying the ride. Now the first call we're going to do, they're called Tabatas. It's a 20 second maximum effort with moderate resistance. 
When I say moderate resistance, I mean normal road resistance. I mean just being able to feel the resistance at say two o'clock. If you can remember, we talked about the pedal stroke as the clocks of a hand. And at two o'clock, you should just feel a little bit of that pressure, a little bit of that resistance. So we're gonna take the next 20 seconds and give a maximum effort. Stay in the saddle, ready, set, go. Everything you got, quicker pedal pace, quicker pedal stroke. Keep those shoulders down and back. Very good, very good. Six seconds here. And recover. And breathe. Normal pedal stroke. Very good. Very good. Nice seated flat. We're gonna do that again in a few in a few moments. Catch your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. In and out. All right, eyes forward, shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna do that again. 20 seconds, maximum effort, five. Three, two, one. Maximum effort, turn it up. 15 seconds to go. 10, eight, six, four, two, and recover. Maybe take that towel, little dab of the face, very good. Excellent, two sets of Tabatas, beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, so take this opportunity, a little drink of the water. The next exercise we're going to do, we're gonna simulate climbing up a hill. Of course, we're not actually climbing up a hill as we are inside, but we will be climbing up a hill in our imaginations. And the way that you can simulate that is by adding resistance on the bike. And the way you can do that is there is a resistance knob right down here beneath you. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you turn this knob to the right, the resistance gets thicker. The pedal stroke slows down. When you're climbing, you wanna be somewhere between 60 to 70 rotations per minute. Usually when I come out of the saddle on a climb, I like to get my hands out in front of me a little bit. It's a comfort thing, as I said before, and I'll say it again. So wherever you feel comfortable on the handlebars is where you need to be. So this is good, I got a little sweat going. I'm gonna ask you to add resistance on the bike. Maybe you should get down to about 60 rotations per minute. So count with me here. Every time your right foot or your left foot hits the base of the pedal stroke, I want you to count one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's your pedal stroke. That's a climb. So we are going to have enough resistance on the bike to where coming out of the saddle seems like a very good idea. While we're doing this, I want you to get your butt back over the seat. So here we go, we're gonna climb. We got three sets of these. Three, two, one. Out of the saddle, up. Keep that butt back. Keep the shoulder blades back and down. Very good. Hold strong. I need to add a little resistance on my bike. You ride your bike, get your results. Excellent. We got five, three, and sit back down. Don't touch the resistance knob. This is what's known as a seated climb. This is the most difficult and productive position you can do during indoor cycling. Stay with it, team. We got 20 seconds in the seated climb right now. Good, 18. Keep that pedal stroke at about 60 rotations per minute. 
That's one rotation per second right now. Five, three, two, resistance off the bike. Good, and when you take the resistance off the bike, you'll notice that your pedal, your pedal pace picks up a little bit. Very good, so that was a standing climb into a seated climb. Let's do that again. Add the resistance back on the bike. Catch your breath. Little water. Very good. 30 seconds standing climb now. And we're up. Breathe, eyes forward. Very good. Keep your butt back. You want to keep the spine long, chest out, chin up. Good posture. Check in. Five seconds. Don't touch the resistance knob. Two and one. Sit and climb. 20 seconds. Seated climb. Come on, team. Stay with me now. 10 seconds. Eight. Six. Four, two, and resistance off the bike. Good. And take the resistance off the bike. Again, you're gonna feel your pedals quicken. Little water. Very good. Little wipe. Now, for your next exercise, we're gonna do what's called a sprint. Now, a sprint is not really a sprint. A sprint just defines maximum effort with heavy resistance. We do sprints after we do standing and seated climbs. So we're going to look to do a maximum effort sprint with heavy resistance. And the way that we're going to do that is by setting ourselves up exactly as we just did from the standing and seating climbs positions. So let's go ahead, get our hands out in front of us, and just to practice one, I want you to put the resistance up, and we're gonna come up out of the saddle in two, one. We're coming up out of the saddle, and we're riding our butts back over the saddle, and we're gonna gain momentum. We're gaining momentum, eyes up, shoulder blades down and back, and we're gonna kick down into a maximum effort sprint. Two and one, kick it. So now you keep the resistance from the climb, and you're doing a maximum effort sprint, operating outside your body's capacity will create yourself to get short of breath and your heart rate's gonna spike. Two and one. So that's what that looks like. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and have a little drink of water if that's all right with you. So now, we're gonna do two of those back to back. So, get your water ready. Get your game face on. And let's get ready to ride here. Add resistance. We're gonna come out of the saddle in three, two, one. Nice, good resistance. If you're counting your pedal pace, what you need to be at is about 60 rotations per minute. That's one rotation per second. Very good. Hold this here. We're gonna sprint in 10 seconds. Good, five, gain momentum. Two, one, sit down, maximum effort. Drive it out. Upper body nice and quiet. Lower body a tremendous machine. Very good team, keep it loose. Burn it out. Halfway. Come on, 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Six, four, two. Resistance off the bike. Water. Whoa. Oh, as this is a beginner video, <laughs> and you need to catch your breath, like me, that's all right. Sit up in the saddle, very good. 
Good. And back. Oh, catch your breath. Recover. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good, everybody. Looking good. Feeling good. All right. Eyes up. We got one more sprint. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I love this stuff. Get your heart rate going, feeling alive. Get your hands on the handlebars. Enough resistance to where coming out of the saddle seems like the only option. Eyes forward, shoulder blades down and back. And three, two, one. We're coming out of the saddle for 20 seconds. And then we are going to sit into a maximum effort in 12 seconds. Gain momentum. I'm gonna add a little resistance on my bike because I feel as though I can. You ride your bike, you ride your ride, and you get your results. Three, two, one. 20 seconds, hit it. Maximum effort. Come on, team. And 10 seconds remaining. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Resistance down. Oh, very good. 20 seconds sprint that go around. Very, very nice. All right. So, drink a little water. Now, in the last 12 minutes, you have now successfully done every move that there is to do in indoor cycling. So now, we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna start with one 20 second Tabata. Stay in the saddle, moderate resistance, maximum effort for 20 seconds. Then, we're going to creep into a standing climb. Hands out in front of you, heavy resistance out of the saddle. Then, we're going to sit into a seated climb. Heavy resistance in the saddle. Then we're gonna set up a sprint out of the saddle, maximum resistance, sitting down with everything we have. And if we have time, and if you're lucky enough, we'll sneak in one more sprint at the very end. All right, folks, stay with me now. It's gonna get real in the next five minutes. First things first, we need normal road resistance. Take an opportunity to wipe yourself off one more time, maybe one last drink of water, and let's get real. Pick that pedal pace up. We're looking for about 100 rotations per minute. That's about two strokes per second. Nice quick feet, quick feet. Normal road resistance. Feel like you're on the flat. Ready? 20 second Tabata in three, two, one. Maximum effort, let's go. Moderate resistance. Race those cars. Get on it, stay on it, be on it. Let's go 10 seconds. Come on team. And five, and three, and two, and resistance down. Easy does it, recover. Very good, no rest for the weary. In 18 seconds, we're gonna come out of the saddle into a standing climb. Resistance back on the bike until coming out of the saddle seems like the only option. Hands out in front of you. Five, three, and come up out of the saddle. 20 seconds. Out of the saddle, 40 seconds, seated climb. One rotation per second right now. Time it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Seated climb, grind it out. We're gonna hang out here for 40 seconds. Keep your body nice and quiet. Spine long, chin up, eyes forward, shoulder blades down and back. Very good. Lower body drives this machine. Turn it out. The best cyclists in the world climb in the seated climb for hours. 
I'm asking for 40 seconds. I think it's doable. Eight seconds. Very good. Five, four, three, two, one. Resistance down. Water. Take a deep breath. You got 20 seconds. And then we're gonna get into a sprint. Very good, team. You all are doing very well. It's your first time ever on an indoor bike or first time with instruction. You're absolutely killing it. Breathe deep. Exhale. Very good, very good. All right. And maximum resistance. Let's turn that up to where coming out of the saddle is the only option. Three. Two, one, we're going up for 20. Gain momentum. We're gonna sit back into a sprint. You want the resistance to be heavy enough to where you can feel the entire pedal stroke. Good, in five, two, one. Sit down, sprint, maximum effort, drive. 20 seconds, come on team. I'm adding resistance on the bike because I can. 10 seconds, everything you got. Churn it out. Two, one, resistance off the bike. Nice work everybody. Good work everybody. Now, technically we're over. That's 20 minutes, but if you wanna come with me, for one more sprint, this is your ride. This is your results. I'm gonna do one more. 20 out of the saddle, 20 in the saddle, maximum effort. In three, two, resistance high, out of the saddle, 20 seconds. Eyes up. Come on, team. I know you can do one more. You can do more than you think you can. Try Jake Fitness, we're always moving forward. We're always breaking through. In two, in one, down, maximum effort, 20 seconds hard. Mm. Grind it out, team. Come on now, eight seconds. Four, three, two, resistance all the way down. Take a deep breath. Come up in the saddle. Breathe in, breathe out. Water, wipe. Oh, everybody, nice work. Good job wherever you are out there. You absolutely did a heck of a good workout. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, I always like to remind you of this. Luck is the last dying wish for those who believe winning happens by accident. Sweat is for those who know it's a choice. You all made a decision to dedicate 25 minutes of your day today to spend with me and to do something physically fit for yourself, and for your friends, and for your family, and for everybody. And for that, I congratulate you. So thank you very much for tuning in, and thank you very much for taking the time and taking this direction and I, I wish you many many miles of, of indoor cycling and uh, you can find more videos at tryjake.com uh, more advanced videos with less instruction more encoded writing and, and things of that nature but for right now dust yourself off take a shower and go have that bowl of oatmeal you've been craving or so I hope so I'll always forward to tryjake fitness signing off Thank you very much.